big pile of fucking money. I forget it was the other guy's fault anyway. So he got a pile of money, bought himself a brand new fucking Harley, and a brand new 68 T-Bird. How the fuck did he drive a Harley with one leg? Oh, like, I know a guy. Who... He, he drove fucking, he you know, probably still drives it. <laughs> <laughs> but he, uh, Timmy was a good, and dance. You should see him really? dance with one fucking leg. That's crazy. You get, up, get that thing fucking swinging. <laughs> Holy fuck. One leg Tim is what his name was. Timmy, what is one that? One leg Timmy. Timmy, he uh, we were sitting in the bar one night, and uh, a hockey team, a bunch of hockey players come in, junior junior A players, and they're all. And Timmy was just a mouthpiece, but like he just fucking loved to fight. He just fucking liked to fight. <laughs> so he gets these fucking hockey players going. This fucking hockey player whacks him on the fucking leg with the fucking hockey stick. <laughs> Tim looked at him and he just fucking looked at him. <laughs> I'm going to fucking kill you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Getting your ass kicked by a one-legged man. Oh, he did too. He didn't Getting kick your ass, ass kicked by a leg. There's a joke about that. Like, he was fast. No, he could sit, he could just sit here and beat you up if you were fucking close enough. He's, well, you ever see a three-legged dog? Were so fast, man. Three-legged dog. You ever see a three-legged dog yeah. run? They can run oh, faster than a four-legged dog. Around, comes around here all the time. Look at Brad's three-legged cat. Oh yeah, she, she moves. Move. And I've seen it's, I've seen three-legged deer. What? Yeah. No, shit. Get shot one leg gets shot off and Yeah. Doesn't kill him. Gnaws it off. Yeah, and he doesn't kill him, just heals up and hairs over. And it don't take them long to get their fucking balance. No, it doesn't. Like Brad's cat there. That and it doesn't matter whether it's days? the front leg or the back leg either. Yeah. yeah. It don't matter. Brad's cat, after three days after surgery, yeah. the cat was up and fucking walking around yeah. already. It, it don't take them long. Fuck. Animals are an amazing thing, how they can just adapt that quickly. I got up this morning about fucking 2 o'clock in the morning. Were you three-legged? Come downstairs and had a token. I walk in back and there's a fucking dead mouse in the middle of the kitchen floor. Oh, oh sweet. So fucking Nova's doing her job. So I picked it up, threw it in the fucking garbage, get into the living room, there's another one. Oh, fuck <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> She's so Nova's doing her fucking job. That's <laughs> good. That's and that's good. a sign winter's coming. Yeah, they're starting to... Oh, fuck, wait till I tell you. Sitting over there in that fucking chair the other day. Yeah. Tip, I was out here with Tippy. And smoking a fucking joint. And a fucking mouse comes underneath the fucking barbecue. Tippy noticed it. He goes over to him. Smelling, he gets into his fucking nose. was almost touching each other. And the mouse stands up on its back legs and the fucking tippy turn around <laughs> running in the fucking. <laughs> that dog. So, so I go to get him. I go to get him about 15, 20 minutes later and I bring him out. He sticks his head out the yeah. fucking door. He's still there. <laughs> that is the most gutless fucking dog. Man. Like, you can't make that up. That's so funny. <laughs> Scared of his own fucking he shadow. shadow that he fucking is. dog. <laughs> Holy fuck. Anything but you're willing new. to get that close to that fucking thing <laughs> until it did something. You fucking wigged out. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my god. Yeah, you don't need to worry about Tippy attacking anything. <laughs> no shit. Eh? <laughs> Fuck, he's all bark, no bite. <laughs> oh yeah, you'd be lucky goes, if he even got close enough to for him to bite you. He goes down to that fucking fence when there's dogs around. He goes right up to the fence. He grabs the fence and shakes it. And he fucking you just think he's trying to kill the fucking. If you ever let the dog in the fucking fence, he fucking take off. Yeah. <laughs> he go right through the door. Right? <laughs> That's like Big G's female dog. She's she, very timid. She don't like me. Actually, they she both doesn't don't like, like me. Any, and you I, can't I've never pet done anything dogs. to these dogs. I've never done anything. But literally, like, Gary, like, and those they're dogs, they're gone. <laughs> You're Fuck. That's all I have to do. Sometimes Rhea I just... Gets a little fucking dog. Spunky. He, that was a good name for him. He was just a little fucking thing. Terry. Oh, fuck. He would, he would take anything on. Oh. He took my brother's fucking shepherd on. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Shepherd bit him and put his teeth right through his fucking ear. 
I, I've seen Hutter, uh, Jack Russell Terriers on Hutterite colonies yeah. up in the huge grain silos trying to get pigeons and other shit. <laughs> yeah. And then you see them come tumbling down. They hit the fucking ground right back <laughs> up there again. And like... Jack Russell's like... Oh, man, they're my, fucking crazy. My boss, boss had two of them. And anyway, he... You need uh, to. He went... Commit the work on one morning. He's my fucking dog's gonna last night. I can't find him. I don't know where the fuck they're at. <laughs> Up in a tree. So, anyways, about no, and, and I was driving along the fucking uh, Deerfoot later on that day, and I seen the two of them. And this is like fucking twenty miles away, and I seen the two of them playing in the fucking field. I didn't know. I never even thought about it being his. Anyway. Uh, I go back to the fucking shop and so I was telling him I seen a couple. On the road. And he says, oh no, it wouldn't have been there. And then, then the cops were on him. We found your dogs. dogs. Yeah, where are they? They were dancing on the deer foot. He says, the cop says, they were dancing on the deer foot trail. He says, Jesus. <laughs> and like that was a good fucking 25, 30 miles from where that fucking house was. Holy shit. Holy shit. They had to go over the calf rope bridge. I don't know how the fuck they get over that without being hit by a car. Because traffic on that yeah, fucking road is just tight. bumper to bumper all the fucking time, man. It's tight all the but time. But they, they get over it. Like, <laughs> yeah, cops are dancing on the Deerfoot Trail. Like, when they mean dancing? Like, <laughs> no, just oh, okay. like Jack Russell. Yeah, know, I know. Running yeah, they around. They around. Fucking <laughs> hey, if you go to. Nipua, they got hops there to grow at the farmery vendor there. They have what? Hops. hops. Oh. They're like climbing hops. Four dollars a plant, did she say? Yeah, I think she said they're all half price. We right stopped now. at their fish and chip truck because we thought I went into seven eleven and there was nothing there for us to eat. I'm like, okay, well we'll go Robin's over at Farmery, we'll go to Subway. And then it's like, well why don't we try their fish? Because it's Manitoba pickerel. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. So that, good. That chip truck there. Yeah. And I I I fucking hate restaurants, dude. I hate fucking chip trucks and shit like that. Yeah. That was it's good. Fucking good, man. It I, took I, them I, a I, while it, like they took their time to cook it and yeah, make it. I I don't say that lightly when it comes to food, man. Checker, I, well, I'd sooner sit and I'd sooner read off of one of them fucking trucks than the fucking restaurant any day. Eat a lot better food. Oh, definitely, definitely. There was a fucking truck used to come out Deerfoot or uh, Glenmore Trail in uh, Calgary, and he'd park at in the intersection. And, uh, fuck man, uh, we used to make sure we were there if we were anywhere down there, anywhere near. We made sure we went to his truck for lunch because it was fucking Phenomenal. got a lot more. And fuck, yeah, it was good. Good food. I don't know if he kept the place clean or not, but it fucking tastes food good. tasted good. Hey, well, it's like the Chinese restaurants. You know, it could be all that dirt and shit, and yeah, makes it. That's what makes it taste good. But it's a lot, a lot different these days because the restaurants are inspected all the time. They, well, and those ch those trucks and stuff are yeah, they're inspected yeah. to the tits. It's not like it used to be. Well, look at Sandra. She has problems with the fucking health inspector right now. Yeah. You, to, get a, to get a permit? What, you want another tooth? <laughs> Fuck, you want my arm? Yeah, and those people said that they probably buy pierogies. I'm gonna get some beet leaves done up before we the go one back from there. Primary? No, the... Oh, uh, yeah, them, yeah. Fuck yeah. We gotta hang out with those... These people out in fucking Sydney, man. Like, you know, the, this is this is our people. This is our people. You you'd get along with these people. Yeah. Fuck, I love. I thought I thought they were muck mucks for the longest time, but I understand now because they want this. They're gonna die in this house. Yeah. It's the last house that they're ever gonna live. There in. must be like six bedrooms in this fucking house. Yeah, it's fucking. The garage has a loft. They must have a big family, do they? Two nope. kids. Two kids. Wow, well, that's big. That's but fucking, I'm thinking... That's about eight fucking kid, grandkids. <laughs> well, well yeah, and their parents ahead. are still yeah. alive, so they have somewhere for their parents to stay when they come out, right, yeah. from Winnipeg. Oh, fuck. That is some I crazy shit. I posted to shit. see if I can find my mama and dad These some people, kitty cats. Oh, Gary, like, I seriously thought they were muck mucks. 